Hello, this video is about Sam Cart versus uh, Thrive Cart. So we got Sam Cart here and Thrive Cart here. I've actually been testing out both of these. I purchased both of them. And um, I, I, man, I waffled back and forth between the two because they're actually, while they do a lot of the same things, um, there's some pretty substantial differences. And I'm gonna tell you why I picked the one that I picked. Um, and uh, it, it, it's in it, even though the, the pricing is very different, um, that that's not really ultimately the the should at least for me it should not be like the major factor uh, in terms of whether or not I, I I go with something. It's more about does it have the features? Do, do specific things work in the ways that I want it to work? At the same time, I think it's important to talk about pricing because I think that's one of the biggest differentiating factors that's obvious between the two. So I do want to mention it because it it is pretty important. Um, you know, and especially if you're on a budget, the, the interesting thing is Sam Car, they have a 14 day free trial, but if you get an affiliate link and I'll try to put an affiliate link below, um, and you know, it, it, then the, the free trial can be substantially longer. Um, I've seen between 30 and 90 days. I can't, I can't say for sure what the link below will be. Um, I have uh, like for really big affiliates, if you know, like someone who promotes this a lot, then you can get up to 90 days for free, which is actually pretty fantastic um, when you think about it, because ultimately Sam Cart will be more expensive, probably. All right. And I say probably because it, it's, it's not that simple. Um, well, Thrivecart has like a one time, either 495, at least at the time of shooting this or 690. Now, um, this and, and you really definitely you almost certainly want this additional stuff because one of the big benefits is the affiliate center um, of the uh, uh, of of Thrivecart, and I think Thrivecart is fine. Um, and th the problem with this pricing is that I, I think I, I heard someone else say I don't remember who, uh, and I think that this is a pretty good way to look at it. Think of this more like a one or two year pricing because there's a very good chance that they'll come up with like Thrivecart version two. Um, and where it'll be different and you'll still probably be able to use Thrivecart, um, but it'll, you just won't get like all the new upgrades. Right. Um, and, uh, the, also it's possible they could just go to business because they don't necessarily have a recurring business model. I'm not completely sold that you have to have a recurring business model for, uh, software, uh, because you think about, okay, well, let's say the average customer stays for six months on nine, uh, on $99, uh, the $99 plan. Well, then they're still making more money per customer. Okay. So the lifetime value of the customer is, and especially if they say, Hey, you know, we've got Thrive Car version two, it's going to be a thousand dollars, but you can upgrade for $500 or something. I, I suspect something like that will happen in the not too distant future because Thrive Car has been around for, I want to say four or five years. All right, so from a pricing standpoint, it's pretty different, but to think that it's just a one-time cost is not completely accurate with Thrivecart. And you pay this all up front, while with Samcart, you can usually get at least a 30-day trial, and in some cases, even a 90-day free trial. So you're like 90 days out from actually paying, um, and then it takes, let's say you're on the $99 a month, and that's $700, it takes basically 10 months before you're even with Sam, Sam Cart and Thrive Cart. And hopefully at that point, your business that you're selling stuff in is not a hundred dollars a month. Isn't really going to make a huge uh, dent. Hopefully you're selling way, 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 way more than that. Okay. But so let's talk about some of the features. So let's go into uh, like creating a, a product uh, with Thrive Cart is very simple. Okay. So overall um, I would give the edge to thrive cart on simplicity all right so that, that definitely if you want something if you need like products up really fast um then you know let's create a new one let's just create a test one real quick because it can show you like just uh test video product um and there's just like a lot that i can skip okay so let's set product price let's just set it for 9.97 um allow purchase one time um so I could do, let's say we wanted to do like a uh, split pay. So we're gonna do, instead we're gonna do 397 times three, All right? All right, so now they can do either one. That's nice, it's very simple. We do a bump, let's say we wanna have a bump. Um, it's a digital product, that's $100, bump. Oops, dump. <laughs> All right, um, and then you can edit this stuff right here. So we're just, you know, special time ones. Uh, $100, bump, get it now, okay? Um, and you just set up processors, uh, I believe, yeah, you can use Stripe, uh, authorized.net, PayPal. This is actually one of the big differentiating factors 
Um, Thrivecart has uh, Apple Pay and Google Pay, which is really good for like mobile. Um, I, I personally find that um, I don't. Th I think most people do not even just try. To, at least for me, don't even try to pay on their um, on their mobile devices. But this could actually pr provide some extra income. Not completely sure. Uh, not completely sold that this is how people are. A lot of people are going to buy anyways. Especially if it's bigger uh, ticket products. Um, I think that they're more likely to use a desktop. But you know, this is something definitely um, that could happen. So. Um, I've already got a Stripe account, uh, so we'll just go ahead and enable that. Affiliates, yep, we want affiliates to be able to pr promote this, and we can set up the commissions. I'll do that. You know, I'm, I'm just going to skip that right now. Uh, it's, it's very, very simple. Okay, so, all right, we've set that up. I mean, I'm going to have this set up real quick. Access to my product, uh, David at Digital Domination Dojo.com. All right. Okay, so here is another differentiating factor. So there's two two major differences between here and Samcart. With Samcart, uh, you get more uh, design options, not just in terms of the amount of templates, but also within the template, there's a lot more that you can do, which actually is, is pretty important to me. Um, but, and also a, a really big difference is Thrivecart has two-step checkouts, um, which, you know, it's, it's arguable whether or not that's better, also, they have a pop-up checkout. I, have to, I don't remember if Samcart does that, and an embeddable checkout, so it's kind of embedded in your site. But there's issues, in my opinion, like there's issues with the speed on these two. So I'm not like super ha happy about that. Let's just do the the one-step checkout, and I'm actually gonna skip all this and just leave it to default. So this is why you can do it so fast. I can just go, okay, well let's just do that. That's it. I mean, nothing. Success page. We're just gonna leave it as is. And tracking. Um, these are the pixels, which is good. You know, you want to do that. All right, so. Uh, here's where I think that Thrivecar is at its weakest um, and sort of like the autom automated rules. Um, there, the, so for, so let's, let's, I use ConvertKit for my email, at least at this time. And then I use Kajabi for my membership area. All right, And it does not integrate with either one of these very well. Even though it has a ConvertKit integration, they don't have a purchase here. So ConvertKit actually has like a purchasing option where you can put the, that's where you keep your customers, like your customer data essentially. Um, and it allows you to add, oh, this person purchased a $500 product on, you know, this, this product on this date. Um, and Samcart allows me to do that. So the integrations is much better. Um, you know, it's not like awful, but it's still kind of, I'm a, it's, that, that was a pretty, pretty big downside for me. So let's save and get URL. Let's just take a look at what this looks like. Um, view checkout page. All right, so it actually looks pretty good. Um, I, I'm, I'm overall pretty happy with this. I mean, this looks really nice uh, for a product that I built in like three minutes. Um, and you can test it pretty well. Uh, overall, uh, I, I'm generally happy with it. Uh, the amount of customization, let's go back. Uh, where's it? Edit product settings. Let's go check out. So customize. So you could you could put testimonials here. So uh, testimonial, uh, oh, John Smith, uh, testimonial one, so, and then bullets. Let's do bullet one, bullet two. And save. Let's see if it, I'm not sure if it. So you can put that stuff there, but there's a lot, there's just a lot less customization, which to me is kind of important. It's not the end of the world. Okay, um, and here, it, let's go ahead and go into, so there's several different ways to integrate. It's kind of weird that they're, it's in different places, but um, so you got autoresponders. Um, the, the, it integrates with ConvertKit. Um, so membership platforms, it's kind of strange to me that these are all, um, except for, I think Teachable, I've never used Teachable, but at least I know that these other ones are all like WordPress based. There's no Kajabi, there's no ClickFunnels, there's no, um, uh, I don't remember, like, uh, so there's other several, several other uh, important ones. Um, and then really basically in order to integrate with, uh, Kajabi, I have to do Z Zephyr, which is not the end of the world, but again, um, it's super important to me that things integrate right. Like that's kind of part of the point here is that when someone buys, they get automatic um, access. And going through another third party, going through a third party to the membership platform increases the chance that there's something that's gonna break. 
um, and cause issues. Again, not the end of the world because typically, you know, if you have a good support system, then it, it works fine. Um, let me see if there's uh, so the affiliate uh, setup. Let's go. Where's the affiliates? Affiliates. Um, this is actually pretty good. I I, I was actually uh, pretty impressed with their affiliate system. It, it's it's more sophisticated, I think, not by like dramatic amounts, but uh, than uh, than uh, Samcart. Samcart's affiliate system is extremely bare bones, um, and uh, Thrivecart's is probably like bare bones plus a little bit more. <laughs> okay, so I would say I've got kind of my notes here. Like they win on on that. All right, there's another issue that I don't really like with Sam Cart with the Thrive Cart. Let's go ahead and go back in here and edit. Can't remember where it is. I believe success page. Okay, there, there's a. Um, I can't remember. They have to go after they purchase. It has to go to the success page. You can't redirect them to a new URL. And on that success page, if you you put in a redirect URL, it just lists that URL on the success page. Okay, that's not what I want. I want it to go to my own thank you page that I completely own and control. I don't want them to see some bland um, uh, receipt. They're going to get a receipt in their email anyway. So not a big fan of that. That that's a really that was really big. Um, I, I'm I don't really care too much about the uh, two step checkout. Um, also, a, a really interesting note that I'm, it probably doesn't matter, but the bump can only be a one time. Uh, while on Sam Cart, it can be a uh, a, uh, a, a uh, like a recurring. You can have a recurring bump on Sam Cart. Test product. Let's do product price. Let's go nine ninety seven, and we'll just create product. Okay, so there's a little bit more work to create it with Sam Cart. Okay, I'll just be straightforward with you on that. Um, but it's still not like you could probably still get this done really quickly. Okay, so there's quite a bit more options here, um, a little bit more designs, and the one page funnel is pretty interesting. There's a lot you can do there. Um, overall, um, like let's do this. Uh, overall, I, I'm, I'm much happier with the design. I, ultimately, I don't think like your cart checkout design makes or breaks you. Um, because I think it's all it's more about all the things you do at, ahead of the time. There's so many other things that you should have done ahead of time to sell that uh, the cart, you know, you know, having a beautiful shopping cart isn't isn't like probably going to make or break you. OK, there's, you know, out of a 100 people, you know, maybe or a thousand people, maybe you'll get one extra person with a better shopping cart design. But at the same time, you know, I like it to be like I like it. And you have stuff like this that just looks a little bit more modern. Um, and I haven't filled all the stuff out. And just you just have more customization, and which I'm happier with. But there's no two-step funnel. I'm kind of surprised by that. The one-page funnel is interesting. That There's a lot of different ways you can go about this. It's, just, it's a weird customization settings. I didn't go all the way into it. Um, there is a pop-up. Okay, so it does. they ha do have a pop-up. So you can have a pop-up to where, like, if you're on somebody's on a website, they can click, and it'll just pop up as if it's right on your website, um, which is good, uh, which I, I think is, is pretty useful and uh, something that you should consider. Uh, so you can, like, define the colors a lot more. Uh, Marketplace logo, this is basically the favicon. You can decide, like, you know, what ad, what fields to fill in. Guarantee title, guarantee text, bullets. You can add different bullets, testimonials, which is something that you can do um, with Thrivecart as well. Let's just do custom content, uh, testimonial, testimonial one. Testim oh, no, this is testimonials. One, um, and then you could like upload a picture of someone, um, and then I guess you could have a bullet point image. Uh, let's just do bullet one, <laughs> bullet two. Um, terms and conditions checkbox. I'm just gonna leave that off for now. Uh, so payments. Okay, so um, it's a little bit less intuitive, I feel like, with Sam Cart. Um, so basically, if you want a secondary payment option. Um, you can see right here, I have like my, my main SCAS ver ver version two, and then I have SCAS version two, three payments. Okay. Um, and then this is like the primary pro product. We'll do 997. And then actually this is, uh, let's, see, let's say we did three payments of 397, right? Um, we'll say one, one payment 997. All right, upsell. So there's like a funnel. Um, you create a funnel, and, and I'm going to show you that in a second. You can do an order bump, and again, you have to already create a product to make the order bump, um, as opposed to like within the Thrive Cart, it's just a little bit faster. But it's not 
I wouldn't say it's like incredibly faster, maybe just a few minutes. Um, and it's a little bit less intuitive, but you know, this is less about, to me, this is less about, oh, well, how fast can I get up a shopping, you know, a cart and like, you know, in, 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 in uh, uh, you know, is it, is it eight minutes or is it 13 minutes? Okay, well, you know, that's not really, because ultimately once you get used to something, you're gonna be able to do it pretty quickly anyways. Um, okay, so here is where, this is one of the big pros to me for SAMCART. Their integrations are just better. Um, so let's say product purchased, next step. Okay, so they integrate directly with the Kajabi API and directly with the ConvertKit API. And this is what I'm gonna do. So you can add a purchase to ConvertKit. This is actually really important. I definitely want to do this. I wanna add a purchase to ConvertKit because this is something that's useful long-term and kind of measuring like the flow of your customers. Um, also uh, doing Kajabi, you grant or revoke offers. Um, directly with the API, just much simpler and easier. Setting up like the Zapier stuff with Thrivecart is, is quite a bit more work. So from that standpoint, it, you know, the, all the benefit that you got from, oh, Thrivecart's easier with the integrations, at least for how I have it set up, was kind of taken away. Um, and then they, they both have kind of the, the advanced settings here. And here's where I like, where, where is it? Um, they both do A-B testing. Like a thank you page. Here we go. Thank you page URL. So instead of taking someone, and this is super important um, to me because let's say I go here and I have let's see my thank you page. Um, you can uh, see I, I like to have something that looks a little nicer for a thank you page. All right. So I'm I'm not not a big fan of not being able to do that. Like directly immediately once the purchase happens, it takes them there and it tells them all the things they need to know. I don't need that pay, that kind of page, and I don't want it. Um, and to have that extra step is just not, not uh, to not even have it as an option is a, a big drawback to Thrivecart in my opinion. Okay, so let me show you how, like if you wanna set up upsells, it's a little bit different. So first of all, you have to have the product. Let's go to, my, I'm gonna go to my product. So um, this FTW is my upsell and I have two different options. So I have this one time 777 and then I have uh, three payments of 297. So what I have to do is actually have to go to upsells and in order to do a new upsell, it has to be actually a product that you've already created. All right, so that's that's one thing. So you have to create a separate upsell, but it's pretty pretty simple. It's just one little page with a little bit, a little bit of a description and that's it. And then you have to create a funnel. So I've got a SKS upsell funnel. It's very simple. Offer one, one pay, and then the down sell is essentially the three pay. All right, and then you can do up to five upsells and downsells, which is obviously, you, hopefully you, you don't think, oh, I want to do five of those. It's plenty. You, you shouldn't you should need any more. I think Thrivecart is the same. All right. And then and then when you go into let's go to the test product and we go upsells and we choose the funnel, we just choose that funnel, right? And then maybe we do this as the, the bump. Dump me, baby. All right. and, oh, we, oh, and you can actually split test the, uh, the funnels. I believe you can do that in Thrivecart as well. So let's just see what this looks like. It's not gonna, obviously it's not gonna look great, uh, but I mean, it looks it looks okay. Bump me baby, All right? Um, you can do the one-time payment, three-time payments, which is obviously it's ridiculous. <laughs> obviously I wouldn't do that. And then um, once I would go through this, it would it would, uh, it would off, it, 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 it's pretty similar. Okay, uh, so which one did I choose and why did I choose it? So I chose Sandcart. Um, from a financial standpoint, I feel like it's actually more of a wash than people would think, even though Sandcart ultimately, if I use it for a very long time, will be very expensive. And if Thrivecart still keeps updating it for the next three three to five years without charging anything extra, um, then Thrivecart will be less expensive. But that's not gonna make or break my business, paying 100 or $200 a month. So actually, if you wanted to do affiliates, you do need to pay the $200 a month. But what I figured out was um, the, the pricing, like the free trial, I got a 90 day free trial and then I upgraded like a week later to this and they charged me one time 99, 199, but then the rest of the, like my next billing isn't still for 90 days. If that makes sense. So I still get, I still get several free months. I still get basically two free months at this level. Cause I did want the affiliate center. So in that, from that perspective, it is more expensive. Okay. Uh, and so that, but, but it's, it's a while before it's more expensive and hopefully you're actually selling product to that to that point 
Um, I also chose it more uh, be, because uh, I chose Samcart because of uh, the the integrations. That was huge for me. The fact that it integrates uh, more natively with ConvertKit and, and Samcart. And let's actually go into. I believe they they just have more integrations. It's it's different. Let's go to settings, um, integrations, um, new integration. Okay, so uh, there's just a bit more here. They have a lot of the same things. Um, I thought they had. I think they have Zapier somehow. I don't remember. But for me personally, the integrations were just better. All right, and I expect overall them to be more. Oh, here go. Check out Zapier integration here. So you can do Samcart to Zapier, uh, which I think uh, Thrivecart leans on uh, Zapier a bit too much. Um, and so it's, again, especially for my specific situation. Um, and then I was considering, seriously considering doing a recurring bump, like a low recurring bump. And so that was another uh, thing for me. And then the other major deciding factor was was the design, um, the design, uh, uh, the design of the of the checkout. So this is my current checkout for the product. Maybe that's not right. It's the wrong product. Where is it? Here we go. It is. So this is the current design. It's not like beautiful, but I mean, I don't think it needs to be beautiful at this point. Um, and, but I get more, there's just a lot more flexibility with what I can do here. Um, you can embed videos. I can't, I couldn't figure out how to do that real quick. Um, so I didn't embed, end up embedding a video, but there's more options to kind of like embed videos. You can't really do that in the, um, in the thrive car and in, in thrive cart, uh, except on, I believe on the upsell, you can do that. Um, but on the, on the regular cell, I think there's some place to, <laughs> I couldn't figure it out. So maybe it's a little bit more difficult. Um, and so overall, uh, I think Sam Carr is better uh, for me specifically. Um, I think the financial considerations of the one-time pay for Thrivecart is not what it seems. Um, and so I wouldn't pick Thrivecart based upon that. I would pick it based upon what it natively integrates. If, if Sam Carr doesn't natively integrate and th with what you, the pieces of software that you use and, and Thrivecart does, that, then I, I would have chosen um, uh, Thrivecart. Uh, so that is, uh, I think I think that there is a, and also just like the native integration with ConvertKit was lower as well. Like it, technically it had the native integration, but it didn't work as well. So that would be to me the kind of the number one uh, decision factor. And number two, you know, if you really want to be able to design your checkout, then uh, you're gonna want um, a SAM card. If you really believe in the two-step checkout, then you're going to want Thrivecart. Um, if you just want to spend as little time as possible and Thrivecart integrates really well, then choose Thrivecart. My recommendation is Samcart. I just think it's a little bit better. Um, and the you know the biggest complaint about it is, oh, it's a little harder to use. Yeah, I mean like marginally, but, but not to the point to where it's like, oh, I can, every time I go in go in it, it's harder to use. It just takes there's just like instead of being a 10 minute learning curve there's like a 17 minute learning curve which to me ultimately should not be the decision factor anyway thank you for listening to me hopefully this has been helpful please let me know what you think below uh i will respond and if you like this video like it and subscribe for more videos like it thanks have a great day bye